How y'all doing? This is John here from the Nevermore Antiques, and if you have not hit that thumbs up button or if you have not subscribed to this channel, I think now is a great time for you to just go right up above and to click that subscribe button. Be sure you ring that bell and give me a thumbs up so that you will be notified for our future videos. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey. I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Well, anyways, uh, I just had a guy come in and buy or sell me a bunch of stuff. We will look, and I'll show you some of the stuff that we got here. It's really cool. It uh, kind of uh, means a lot to me. So let me turn the camera around. Okay, this is all of the really cool stuff that he just brought in. I got all of this wonderful stuff for a whopping 30 bucks. I got some of these Hot Wheel cars. They're, that's an old, uh, that's an old Tonka or Tomica, and a couple Hot Wheels. Nothing special there. This is a cool Tonka truck. This is a really cool Tonka little, a little cool Tonka bucket truck. And then here's a little Tonka or some kind of. I'm guessing it's a little Tonka. Um, yeah, it's a Tonka little concrete mixer. It's got rubber wheels. Super cool. These three um, cars here were actually sold right across the road over there. There was a Ben Franklin store, the one with the blue building, the little blue top building right there. Um, that used to be the Ben Franklin store here in town. And these were actually sold from that Ben Franklin store. And they are little banks. And they have the key. These three are. Then this is a true value car that was sold from here in Fredericktown. So I got that. And then I got these really awesome, uh, I got that really awesome Tonka, that little rat rod there. And then I got this little coupe, that little Ford coupe. And then we got that Volkswagen Beetle. But the coolest part about all of this stuff here is um, I got these yearbooks here. And they're all local yearbooks. I got two, three, I think there's one, two, three, four. There's four of them here. And this is my beautiful wife, Megan. And her dad is in all of these yearbooks. So that works out pretty good. How old's your dad? 81. He is 81 years old. So he's in these yearbooks. And he is to the age to where he loves looking through these. It's very nostalgic for him. So it's really cool to be able to get these so that he can uh, spend some time, you know, walking down uh, memory lane, I guess. Uh, but I paid 30 bucks for all this. And... Um, I paid five bucks a piece for these, and then I paid ten dollars for everything else, which is a pretty good deal. So we decided to have some hardies, didn't we, Pig? Look at that. Is that good stuff? Is that good stuff, Pig? You give me a thumbs up. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. Oh, not gonna do it. My mannequin here, and he is all decked up in his finest uh, U.S. Navy outfit. But I think we're going to change. I think it's time for a change. The seasons has changed, and I think it's time to dress him up a little bit more festively. What do you guys say? Let's do it. Let's do it today. I believe that Santa Claus is on his way. Okie dokie. So I think I got Santa Claus done away here. I am going to have to get, I got a set of rubber galoshes at home, so I'm going to bring them in and kind of finish off his feet. But that's my Santa Claus. We even put a little pillow here underneath his belly so that he's kind of got that bulge. Um, I think that's kind of sexy, don't you ladies? Because uh, I got one of them too. Anyways, uh, so that's him. I've got my military outfit here. I will fold that up, stick it in the bag over there, and it will come back out uh, whenever... Um, It'll come back out whenever I change the uh, Santa Claus outfit off of him. So, yeah. Sorry, I got a little brain farted there for a second. I don't know. I think I'm going to turn him a little bit more facing towards the door. Um, I do have two Christmas trees left. I'm supposed to have some people come pick them up. We're not exactly sure when they're going to get here yet. Uh, but I do have another Christmas tree in the basement um, that we're going to take home. And I am looking for a small... Uh, I'd like to find me a small tin Christmas tree so that I can put up here in the store. But I think Santa Claus looks pretty good. What do you guys think? You like my table I had made? I bought that Singer sewing machine base for 35 bucks, And I had this piece of old rustic wood here in the shop. And I had my guy. You guys all know my guy. Um, I had him come in. And uh, he took it home. He put the base together. And he made that top. Golly, it's freaking awesome.
I wanted to show you guys this really cool laptop that I picked up. Remember uh, me telling you guys that I was doing computer recycling? Well, one day I'm sitting here in the store and I have a guy come into the store and he's like, Hey, you recycle computers? I said, Yep. He handed me this one and said, Here you go. Here's one to recycle. So, guess what I did? I recycled it. I have it uh, running. It has an Intel Celeron processor. It was running Windows Vista. It's got 2 gigs of memory in it, which could probably use an update to 4 gigs. But it's got the Intel Celeron processor at 2.2 gigahertz, uh, 2 gigs of memory. So, it's a nice little computer. Um, I put Windows 10 on it, upgraded it. Windows 10 went on it just fine. It's a little slow, but I think that if I put another 2 gigs of memory in it, it'll take care of a lot of that lagginess. So I'm going to see what it's going to cost to order 2 gigs of memory for this computer. And um, I'm probably going to use that up front here at the register so that I can uh, use it to look stuff up when people bring stuff in. That way I can keep my other laptop in the back. Uh, my wife has a laptop right here, but I don't like using it too much. So what do you guys think about that? That's not too bad. It's a Toshiba. It's a satellite. Uh, nice. It's got. It's just a nice, nice laptop. For free. Absolutely free. I've got about two hours worth of work into it. And um, I got a free laptop. That's not too bad. Uh, so sometimes if you think outside of the box, if I put this thing on eBay right now, they sell for about $75. So I'm still ahead. Even if you count, even if my labor is 20 bucks an hour. I'm still ahead on this machine, and it's really a, really a good price. You can't beat free. Hey everybody, this is John, and it's day number two in the shop, so I've got a quick project that we're going to jump on. Um, I'll explain it to you in just a second. It's really cool. Um, this is how I've uh, learned to make a little bit of extra money. I love putting these cool little projects together. Uh, let me turn the camera around here, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I've got this awesome, it used to be a swag light, but it's a stained glass uh, lampshade from a swag light. And what I do with these is I save them until I find a really cool lamp that I can put them on. If you take the top part off of it, uh, it will work really, really good for a lampshade. And I will show you the lamp that I have right over here. I picked this thing up yesterday and it was really awesome. It's got a beautiful mid-century modern type base to it. And um, I think it's going to look absolutely excellent on here. So I'm going to get that done and I will show you what it looks like whenever uh, I get it put on and get it screwed down. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the lampshade on it. I think it uh, looks really good on there. I love it. Uh, let's turn it on so we can kind of get a feel of what the look what it looks like all lit up absolutely love that think it looks fantastic i love that red flower i wish there were more of those red flowers in it but the green looks really good too so i am going to probably put uh probably put like 85 bucks on it i think it's really cool now remember i paid two dollars for the base and i have probably um probably five six bucks in the in the light I, when I turn it on, I did see there is a little crack right there in one of the pieces. That's why I'm not going to ask as much for it. I uh, was thinking about 100 but the um does have that one little crack, which will be fine. It's I mean, you'd have to be pretty picky to worry too much about that. But for like 85 bucks, it's still a pretty good deal. I love it. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know in the description below. Packing up a huge jack similar to this. I'll post the uh, uh, picture of the jack that we're, ja or we're jacking around with about right in this area right here. But we've got it in there. Uh, I sold it for 250 bucks. you'll see on the screen. And I had to call in the heavy hitter today, uh, my buddy Chris here. And uh, I've got Megan and, of course, Pig over there. He's supervising. <clears throat> but what we're doing is we're packaging this up and we're going to put it in that box Then we're going to use that banding tape and we're going to try to get it to where Hopefully it gets there in one piece. I mean the box because I don't think the jack is going to be damaged in any way because it's like probably 75 pounds of aluminum and steel I like everything about it. 